What's up guys, it's me Sean here for another Java tutorial. And now that we're done with downloading Java, I'm assuming you guys are all ready to down, uh, start programming in Java. But we need to do one last thing before we start programming. And it is to download a Java IDE on your computer. Wait a minute Sean, what is Java IDE? Is it like some kind of virus? No, no, no. It's actually a program where we can down, uh, write a Java code and what it's going to do is it will translate that Java code into machine language so your computer can understand it and then run it on your computer. So it's very good, uh, good tool to have, right? So let's get to downloading part. So first thing we have to do here is we have to go to internet and um, once you go to internet, just type in on the Google, you will have to type in uh, Java IDE and start downloading. But in this tutorial, I'll be using this IDE called JGrasset. And um, a lot of people will say, oh, Sean, why don't you just use Eclipse IDE? And my response to that will be, um, that Eclipse IDE would be more for uh, people who are used to Java, I think. Because what JGrasset does is it doesn't help you out with anything, so you pretty much have to start writing code from scratch all the time. But uh, uh, Eclipse IDE, when you type in a uh, keyword, what it's going to do is it will fill up the rest of the keyword for you, so you don't learn as much I think and it is also very heavy it, it took me forever well it's because my computer is very slow also but this JGrass a bit's only like 8 megabyte so it's very very light and it's easy to use so I recommend you guys to uh, use JGrass it. and we at our school we also use that for Java programming too so yeah, so let's get to downloading part. So what you have to do is you have to type in JGrass on your search bar and just hit enter. Once you hit enter, you will see this first link with www.jgrass.org and that's the website we have to go to. So uh, <clears throat> go ahead and click that website. And once you're in this website, you will see on the left side there is download and go ahead and click download and once you're in here uh, scroll down and uh, <clears throat> we want to download this first part and notice it's updated on June 24th so it's pretty up to date and it's it's really nice so anyways just check your uh, operating system and go ahead and download whichever is f uh, you're working on right now so for example, I'm working on Windows, so I would have to download the ones next to Windows. So go ahead and click that green button there, and then save a file, and wait for it to download. And it is very quick, so you'll see uh, this kind of icon once you finish downloading JGrass, right? Or, yeah, downloading. So now, we have to install it. So go ahead and double click it. And once you do, you will be brought into this setup screen here. So go ahead and hit next. And I, uh, oh yeah, you have to read this license and agreement. I already did before, so uh, I won't waste any time here. I, I'll just hit I agree. And go ahead and click, check this desktop shortcut box here because I want the desktop shortcuts. So hit next and keep that destination folder as what it is and hit next and hit next again and install so once you hit install it will install it on your computer and it's already done I mean it took how long like less than two minutes it, yeah it's it's very quick even though my computer is very slow so um, once you finish downloading you will see this icon with G on it yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? Because it's supposed to have J, 
stands for Java, but uh, it has G on it. But I can't complain. So um, go ahead and double click that desktop icon there. And uh, wait for it to run it. So once you run it, you will see, run it for the first time, you will see this um, window here, right? So if you want it to, if you want this to send your data to the server, then hit allow. If you don't want, just hit don't allow. And uh, just click one of them and then there you go. You're in JGRASS up here. So um, now that we downloaded a JGRASS, what we're going to do is we are going to create a folder on our desktop just for the Java programming. Because it's good to keep track of our Java files so we can go back and fix them easily later. So it's good to keep them like in the folder where you can see it often. So go ahead and right click on your desktop and hit new folder and name it something like Java Project. Okay, yeah, once you do that, um, you have empty folder here. And what you're, what you're going to do is you're going to um, hit this drop down menu here and you will go into desktop. And go ahead and hit desktop. Once you do, you will see your new folder called Java Projects. Go ahead and double click it and now you're in that folder. So now that we're in this folder, how about we make our first Java programming? So I'll go ahead and click this file button up here, and then under new, you will see there is a Java, right? So you can write other language also, but we're learning Java, so go ahead and hit Java, and uh, let's write some code. So for now, uh, you guys will just have to follow me here because uh, this tutorial is about how to download a Java IDE but I promise you guys that I'll be explaining everything in detail so you guys can master these stuff okay so let's get started so first thing we have to do is we have to write public class and any kind of name just have to start with a capital letter so I'm gonna name it tester because it's my tester uh, class and go ahead and put two uh, curly braces open curly braces and then closing curly braces between those two hit tab here and write public static void main with parentheses capital string hard bracket, hard bracket, A-R-G-S, args, and closing parentheses with open and close curly braces. So yeah, you, got, you guys gotta follow me here because there's a lot of curly braces and then parentheses and all that stuff. But uh, once you get used to it, it's piece of cake. So anyway, between those two second curly braces, uh, go ahead and hit tab here to indent and then write system dot out dot print ln with parentheses and double quotes and say something you want this program to print out so for example something like hey my name is Sean and uh, close double quote and close parentheses and most important thing in Java semicolon every time you finish a command you have to put semicolon or else you're gonna get an error so once you finish that uh, you will see this green plus sign up here right go ahead and hit that that means you are going to compile the file so if you do they want you to save the file first because we haven't saved it right so hit save and obviously it's going to try to save you save this file into your current folder which was our new folder right so and the file name they already gave us and try to keep them uh, just same same as what they gave you 
and just hit save and once you hit save uh, what it's going to do is on the bottom screen here this is your uh, everything so when you run a program it will show you the output here and it will show you the errors down here so this will be this section right there will be your friend pretty much so anyway it says operation complete which means the comp uh, compile compilation is completed now it's time to run the program so let's hit this uh, red stick figure here it looks like running right so let's run it click it and there we go hey my name is Sean there's your first Java uh, program that you just wrote I mean it's not much right now but uh, in the next tutorials we'll be learning more and more stuff and I hope you guys can like master Java it's very fun language it's a lot of uh, widely used that's very useful so yeah that's it for this tutorial I wish you guys liked my this tutorial and if you guys have any questions please leave questions on the comment below and I'll see you guys next time thanks